If you're a man and you're struggling with confidence, I really want you to listen to today's video because I want to remind you that confidence isn't something that's ever gifted to you. It's something that is built and is constantly obtained by a person. Now, this comes with a level of assurance within who you are. When a man has a level of sureness in who he is, it will radiate off of him within a level of security that he brings forward. A level of framework behind his words, behind his even beingness. And this is attractive to a woman. Now why? Well, first and foremost, if a man has a backbone, it's a great sign. Now, having a backbone means you're not easily persuaded by another person's idea of how you should be acting, how you should be being. Rather, you're staying true to your integrity. Now, any human being who's intact with integrity is going to come off as authentically themselves. Why is that crucial for your competence? Because you're not playing up a role for an individual to get them to like you. A lot of people play up specific characters, specific roles, just to get admiration from the person you're trying to get to know. Now, this can become dangerous because you're putting your worth on someone who is not you, as well as you're giving the woman a false representation of who you are to appease what you may think she desires. Now, every woman will be attracted to a man with a level of confidence and charisma. Charisma also brings a lot of value into your conversation with women. Having a level of charm, having a level of engagement into conversation, not oversharing, being observant of her, of what she says, not in a weird way where you're hyper-focusing and hyper-analyzing everything she says. That makes you become highly attracted to her because you're listening and a man who actually has the ability to sit in silence in conversation and gather his thoughts rather than word vomiting is very attractive and shows a level of confidence that you actually are allowing yourself space to think a lot of people don't even allow themselves space to think in between their thoughts when they're in a conversation with a woman that they desire, of course, it's going to probably uh, have some anxiety attached to it. Uh, you want to show up your best. You want to be your best. You want to leave a good first impression. But when you are overanalyzing on that, on the very outcome, you are disconnecting yourself from reality of the moment. And that is where the first impression is made. It's not upon the end result. That is all based upon how you show up. And how you show up for a woman is also how you show up for yourself. So if you're easily persuaded by a woman, you're probably very persuadable. And being over persuadable is you not being firm in who you are, firm in your voice. Having a level of dominance also within a man is highly attractive. Not in a way where it's, you know, uh, overboard where you're dominating conversation you're dominating uh, other aspects no a healthy integrated man has a level of dominance because he needs to why does a man need dominance in his life first and foremost it gives him power and purpose having a level of dictatorship upon how he lives his life is needed and this is why I want you guys to be able to integrate these little key things I'm saying. So you're probably watching this video because either you want some reassurance of what makes a man competent to a woman. It really comes down to, are you confident in yourself? A lot of men probably don't feel confident if they have no purpose they're working towards. They probably don't feel confident if uh, they're at home all day participating in habits that are not supposed to better them their life rather decline themselves in a way that isn't setting you up for a great future a woman will find it very attractive when a man has a vision a purpose something he's working towards each day and will never allow himself to put a woman as his main priority and having boundaries around that not in an egotistical way or an arrogant way, 
but in a way that is actually there to serve him as well as any woman that comes in to his life. He's not easily able to fall off his path. He has his eyes set towards something. That's highly attractive. Also very attractive when a man isn't a womanizer. When if he sees a beautiful woman walk by and he's on a date, he turns to see the other woman. It's not attractive. It means you're easily persuadable as well, like I said. You can be easily persuaded by a lot of things in today's society. So to have confidence within yourself, in your vision, in your mission, and in your voice will set you up to be received as a competent human being. And sometimes, y'all, you gotta fake it till you make it. Maybe right now you're not confident. But when you go out into the world, practice what it feels like to be a competent person. Maybe you have no idea where to start. Well, first and foremost, start with bettering your life. Start with having a vision in mind. Start by having some sort of respect for yourself. The only reason a man doesn't have respect for himself is because he's doing things that are not respectable. That's it. So cut out all of the things that make you feel like shit and put them towards the very things in your life that needs to be tended. That could be you, your vision, your purpose. You guys got this. I know it's hard out there, but don't allow another, don't allow this life to consume you and to make you into something that you are not. Because ultimately, it's up to you to decide who you are. It's a free will planet and everything's neutral. So what you give your meaning to truly matters. How do you define yourself? And, how's, and how does that dictate the way you feel about yourself and ultimately how you show up? in this life. So I hope this video helped you and you guys got something out of it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.